it seems as though this boy can't keep my name out his mouth off his channel he can't do anything without mentioning v v v v v v baby v v v v v v v this v that v this v that every time y'all turn around it's something with v every freaking time literally y'all i swear to god i'm trying to move on I, I, i'm i'm honestly trying to move on at this point i feel like i'm being harassed i'm actually being harassed at this point and it's pathetic this is the night before i do what i'm doing in the morning so let me go ahead and tell it to y'all straight as y'all know me and dakota are broken up we were living together i personally wanted him to just move out if y'all don't know i I don't really have much family that I can depend on to go, you know, just leave and come stay with. I don't have that much family to do just that. Dakota, on the other hand, has a mom and a dad. He got a granddad as well, house he can go stay at. So I made it my decision, my choice to text his mother and tell her to please, please, Please let your son come back to the house and stay with you because I can't do this. I don't know about y'all, but I don't know nobody in on this earth that can just live with a person that you're broken up with that has came to the internet and bashed your name. I don't know nobody that can do that and I won't stand for it and I'm not doing it. So I simply wanted Dakota to leave, right? Here's a message of me texting his mama right here. Okay. Texted his mama. He then proceeded to text me, talking about some, sent him uh, half the rent or whatever. Mind you, never mind. I don't even want to speak on what pay the rent because I don't feel like talking about that. That's not what this is about. He wanted that to leave. My thing is, why do you want to stay near me if I'm such a bad person? If I did this and I did that, why do you want to be near me every day, see me every day? That don't make sense to me. That does not make sense to me at all. At all. So, I spent the night at a friend's house. Now, I've been spending the night at a friend's house because I can't look at him. Like, who would want to do that? All right, so. The next day come, and... I get back home and I see Simba, uh, the air conditioner went out in our apartment, mind you. The air conditioner is gone out. So I see, I had Simba, some fans set up in the living room for him. So I see that the fans are off. And I see that Dakota brought his fan in um, and turned it on him and basically like turned them off to where Simba could just be hot and just, you know, damn near probably pass out. I don't know. I just want to make sure that Simba's straight. So, I see that Simba ain't got no fan of him. So, at this at this point in my mind, I'm like, okay, this nigga playing games. Like, he being petty for real. Like, this 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 ain't even, this ain't even worth, like, this ain't even worth it. This nigga can just go, you know? If you don't want to take care of no dog, he hasn't took care of Simba since we've been broken up and we live together. He don't even mind Simba. He don't even acknowledge Simba at all. And I don't play about Simba. I love Simba to the death of me. I love that dog, like, to death. So, I seen that happen and i'm like okay in my head you know what this nigga got me fucked up he got me messed up so i went and i took the wi-fi box out the room and i put it in my trunk of my car so he get home the um maintenance people are working on the air but they left when the code got there they left they had to go use the bathroom or whatever so i moved the wi-fi box he come in where the wi-fi box blah 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 blah, blah. where the wi-fi you took the wi-fi laughing and giggling and stuff and i'm like yeah because you Tripping on Simba. Why the fuck did you turn the fan off on Simba? Basically. So we're getting a whole argument about that. So I get to calling him, you know, B-words. Because he laughing at the situation. Ain't nothing funny. So I'm calling him B-words, this and that and third. Dakota gets mad. He don't like, he don't, He didn't like that I was calling him a B-word. Because that's, that's how he acted. And that's how he's still acting right now. So, this nigga get mad and say, you think you tough. I'm going to beat your ass, blah, blah, blah. That's what he said to me. He said he was going to beat my ass. So then he proceeds. I got my phone in my hand. I have my phone in my hand. This nigga think I'm recording him. And so he proceeds to go to the kitchen, get a cup, 
put water in it, fill it up to the top, come storming over towards me, take out his gun at his pocket, and get in my face yelling and shit like he finna do something to me. He says, say, call me a bitch again, call me a bitch again, watch what I do. He s tried to snatch my phone, he couldn't get my phone. God, he get on top of me, pin me down. I get the beating up on him. I hit him in his face and I kicked him off of me to get him off of me and get away from him. I grabbed his gun and I grabbed a knife from the freaking kitchen just to protect myself. I didn't do nothing. I didn't start nothing with him. I didn't touch him. I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him for no reason. I didn't do nothing to him for no reason. He got mad because I was calling him a bitch, y'all. A fucking B word. He got mad over some words. Pour water on me. Here's the picture of the water. And here's the picture of the scene of where he poured water on me. I walked out. I walked out the house with the gun and the knife. And I went outside and I told the maintenance man to get him away from me. Like this nigga is crazy. He is. He came towards me. He charged towards me, y'all. I didn't do nothing to him I didn't go towards him for no reason at all I don't know what he said in his video I didn't watch his video I'm telling y'all the full story of everything of everything I didn't do nothing to him to where he had to come and touch me and pin me down on the thing damn near try to kill me over a goddamn phone he tried to get my phone cuz he thought I was recording what he was saying to me he said he was gonna beat my ass that's why he didn't want me to be recording that's why he was trying to get my phone so he proceeds to call his mama and just make up a story and lie and say he didn't pour water on my hair on me at all. Nothing. I showed the maintenance, maintenance man. I said, was my hair like this before you seen me? No, it was not. This nigga just poured water on me. And as y'all can see in the pictures, it has been water poured in the fr freaking on the couch right there. So I proceed to get in my car and sit in my car and I have symbol with me. Simba is sitting in the car with me and we just waiting for the police at this point. I didn't call the police. The maintenance man called the police and the office called the police. They got there. I told the story and I'm pressing charges tomorrow. So since you want to get on YouTube and cut up, let's cut up, baby. Let's cut up. But, but this is where it ends. I'm not doing this no more with you. You're out the house. All I wanted him to do, y'all, was get out the house, move so I can move on and be free. I don't want to keep doing this. I got a whole trip coming. I'm trying to move on. I don't want to keep doing this. But you keep doing this. So we're going to do it. And I'm pressing charges on you tomorrow for everything that you done did. And you steady harassing me. And you steady defaming my name on the internet. When I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about you at all. I'm moving on. You should do the same. But that is, that is what happened, y'all. That is the truth. And that's what it is. And I'm done with this. Like... I'm done. Keep my name at your mouth off your channel. Do something else. Move on. You hate me so much. Move on. Fuck is you still going for? You steady going. Stop it. And my camera just my my camera went out of storage. I gotta get another SD card. I have this whole thing from the police with the case number, incident number, and all of that, and the, and the charges, assault, third terrorist threatening. Like, boy, gone on. You flee from the scene when the police got called. You seen, you heard that the police got called and you ran. What you running for? You ran. Your gun got took and it got turned into the police. I didn't do nothing to you. So stop making it seem like I'm the bad person. Yes, I defended myself. I'm a whole female. I've had niggas. You hit me before. Do you not remember that? You hit me dead in my face before. I haven't told nobody that, but now they know. Stop playing with me. Stop freaking playing with me, for real. Like, stop. God, I've had niggas in the past beat up on me. I beat up on them back. It's just what it is, but I'm protecting myself at the end of the day. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't storm towards you. I didn't put my hands on you first. I did not do that, and you know I did not do that. So don't go over there lying on my name. Just leave me alone. Damn, at this point, it's harassment. You ain't tired? Let this shit go. Let the relationship go. We're done. You're out the house. You're out the house. You had a peaceful move. Nothing was nothing was destroyed. Nothing. You got all your stuff. You got all your stuff. And one take. So what is the problem? Why are you steady going on? Why are you? I thought you was moving on. Why are you still going? It makes no sense. Get you a life. Because obviously you don't have one. Get you one. God. Because over here I'm getting blessed. I'm getting blessed whether you know it or not. I don't care no more. Leave me alone. God, I'm just asking you to leave me the fuck alone for real. Leave me the fuck alone. 
God, you done too much already. You steady fucking going. Leave me alone. But I'm done with this video. Jesus, I'm not trying to cry because this nigga been going. Oh, my God. This nigga steady been fucking making videos and shit trying to talk down on me just so he can feel good. And y'all don't see that shit. This shit is fucking driving me crazy. And my friends and my family keep telling me, don't give him a reaction. Don't give him a reaction. Don't do this. Don't do that. And I can't because he's steady going. Ain't nobody trying to tame this nigga on his side. Ain't nobody trying to tell him, look, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. They probably over there egging his ass on. Like, you don't got nobody in your corner to tell you to stop. Leave me alone. No nigga has ever harassed me this long over no fucking relationship. You that thirsty for some cloud. Just leave it alone. Let it go. Let this shit go. Let it go. I'm telling you, let it go. I'm pressing charges on you in the morning. And that's just that. I'm done. I'm done. If your mama can't handle you, can't nobody else handle you, I know the police can. We can take it to court. I don't care. I'm done. Stop. Just let me go. Fuck.